good morning children let's start the science class continuation of the chapter adaptations in plants chapter number 5 all of you open page number 54 okay plants growing in deserts what are the features they have very few or no leaves sometimes they don't have leaves also even if they are having it is very few their leaves are modified into thorns means the leaves are changed into thorns they don't have leaves rather they have thorns they store water in their stems then how the photosynthesis takes place generally they store water in their stems and which becomes fleshy and photosynthesis is carried out by this by their stems itself okay now see in for half what is a desert a desert is any large region that gets very little rain each year because of less rain there is scarcity of water very few plants only those plants that can survive with little water grow in desert areas okay now their roots are adapted to get whatever water is available their roots are, are adjusted or adapted like that so that whatever water little bit water is available the roots take the water that much of water only and the water is stored in their stems itself okay in for hub cacti are real water reservoirs means reservoir means where they can they can store water okay their water is not pure and clear but it is drinkable though the water is not so pure and clear but it is drinkable okay plants growing in swampy areas so plants growing in swampy areas it becomes very difficult for plants to grow here swampy areas means water where uh, the area is fully water locked those kind of areas where there is lot of water how the plant will survive then it becomes very difficult for plants to grow here because air cannot reach the roots roots doesn't get any air thus plants growing in this region have breathing roots so they have adjusted themselves they are having breathing roots to take in air from the uh, with the help of the breathing roots they take air they these grow above the swamp and get oxygen and they generally get uh, oxygen because they grow above the swamp okay in for hub places where the soil is very sticky and clay are called marshy or swampy areas so what are swampy areas places where the soil is very sticky and clay those places are known as marshy areas or swampy areas these areas contain lot of water now see okay next breathing roots also help to absorb water and minerals that are required to carry out photosynthesis without water and minerals how the plant will carry out photosynthesis it is not possible so with the help of the breathing roots as because they can absorb water and minerals so the photosynthesis is carried out in this process so example of such kind of plants are mangroves and they have as you can see they have breathing roots okay in for hub plant matter found at the bottom of the swampy areas gradually turn into coal and but it is a very very slow process plants growing near coasts what are the adaptation let us see 
they can survive on salty water okay this kind of plants they uh, survive on salty water that means as sea water is very salty that's why but they can survive there so these plants prefer area of heavy rainfall and seeds are dispersed by water so such kind of plant tree is known as the coconut tree and their seeds are dispersed means moved from one place to another they float they can float with the water and they grow, go from one place to another such kind of trees are known as coconut tree now see quick check one Num fill in the blanks number one the features that help the plants and animals to survive in their natural surroundings are called adaptations all of you write adaptations number two deciduous trees shed most of their leaves in autumn next leaves of plants growing in mountains are needle like next coconut trees grow near coasts they generally grow near coasts and mangroves have breathing roots okay next aquatic plants plants that grow in water water means aqua another name of water is aqua so that's why they are known as aquatic plants they can be of three types floating plants fixed plants and underwater plants okay examples are of floating plants are water lettuce and water hyacinth now let us see their features they are very light spongy okay they are like sponge that's why and float on the surface of the water they are very light that is why they can float on the surface water surface okay and the roots of these plants they hang loosely in water they generally they are very soft and they ha hang loosely they are very loose and they hang loosely in water so examples are water lettuce water hyacinth and duckweed okay next fixed plants their roots are fixed up at the bottom of the pond so how they, they grow over there and what are the features generally their roots are fixed at the bottom of the pond they have a long hollow hollow means it is empty okay no feeling is there hollow stem to reach the surface of water so what is their structure generally they have hollow stem to reach the surface of water and these leaves are very broad and coated with wax to prevent wilting means the leaves are generally uh, broad and they are coated they have a waxy coating and it prevents them prevents from wilting means loss of water there is no loss of water they can st uh, store water and there is no loss of water their leaves have stomata only on the upper upper uh, surface of the leaf which help them absorb and release gases so their stomata means their their leaves are having fine opening through which exchange of gases takes place and and those stomata are placed on the upper surface of the leaf examples of such kind of plants are lotus and water lily lotus and this one is water lily okay so let's recap what we have learned today plants growing in desert what are the examples yes cactus next plants growing in swampy areas mangroves 
plants growing near coast coconut tree we did fill in the blanks aquatic plant they are generally of three types floating plants fixed plants and underwater plants floating plants what are the example water uh, lettuce water hyacinth duckweed fixed plants lotus water lily okay and underwater plants next day i'll explain thank you that's all for today dear children bye have a nice day